Hello, I am Bill Adams, and I'm the current past president for People First of Ohio, and I would like to talk a little about marriage. In August 2011, I met the woman of my dreams, and on March 15, 2014, I had decided to pop the big question of marriage. Needless to say how difficult I didn't know it would be to do things, such as marriage, would be difficult it would be to have two people that has disabilities to get married. We are both working, but our incomes are not that high to live on, so we depend on our social security incomes to get by, which I thought that both of our incomes would be okay to live on, but I was wrong. We were told by people, even by Disability Rights of Ohio told that when couples decides to get married, the state combines both incomes into one, thus decreasing one spouse's income down to practically nothing. This makes getting married practically impossible because we would be living in poverty level, which I don't think this is fair for people who loves each other, and I want to take this time talking to you about the difficulties for a person that has a disability to be employed. I had graduated college with a bachelor's degree within social science back in 2004. However, for some reason, I've been unsuccessful in finding employment after all of these years. In the spring of 2004, a quarter upon graduating college, I took an internship at a preschool for children that has disabilities and for children that doesn't, which I love the curriculum of inclusion. After finishing the internship, I went back as a volunteer up until today. The original idea was, if the powers that be would see how dedicated I am to our students, it would land for employment which I am grateful that it looks like that I will get paid for this school year. I love working with the children, but I hope that our children would think to themselves that if Mr. Bill can do things in life, then there is nothing that they can't do for themselves. Always want to be a role model for our students. Hello, my name is Diana Milos. I am from Cincinnati, Ohio and I am Vice Chair of Advocacy United. Advocacy United was created by people with developmental disabilities who want to advocate together to make change and understanding happen in our beautiful state of Ohio. Today I'm going to talk about two subjects. The first one is self-determination. I am also president of the Ohio Self-Determination Association, and I believe self-determination is very important to how we live in the community by making choices, by learning how to be a leader, and most important of all, taking control of our lives. The second subject that I feel very dear to is mentorship. In high school, I always had a mentor and we met once a week and we talked about my problems or issues and also the good points of life. I just want to tell um, everybody, that everybody should have a mentor or somebody they go into life. And I'm going to leave you with two of my favorite quotes. One is from David Botadiak, and his quote is, Loneliness is the only disability in life. And I truly believe that because I only had one best friend and now I have so many I can't even count. And my favorite quote that I always say when I talk to people about my story and self-determination 
is it's all about relationships. Thank you very much, and please look for Advocacy United on our Facebook page. Hello, I'm Sherry Cooper, and I'm the chair of Advocacy United. Advocacy United is made up of advocates and stakeholders around Ohio to help people achieve independence and quality of life in Ohio. And it's a wonderful group, and I'm so glad I got to be a part of it, and I hope you will look into joining us one day. Today I want to talk about stereotypes and public speaking. Stereotypes. Some people wonder, can people with disabilities live on their own? Can we have children? Do we work? Do we go to college? Are we happy? I'm here to tell you everything I have said is true. I'm a happy individual. If we do work, I work a part-time job, and I do a lot of uh, public speaking and uh, get happy. And I just want to tell people, you sometimes stereotype a person without knowing them. Get to know a person first. Get to know a person with a disability. I'm trying to kill those stereotypes so when people go out in the community with a disability, people won't look at it funny or different or even be scared of it. I always tell people, if you touch me, I can't give you my disability because I would have been in gave it away by now. And people laugh at me. And after they laugh, they feel more comfortable around people with disabilities. So don't stereotype anybody. Now I want to talk about public speaking. As you can tell, I have a speech impairment. But oddly, I do a lot of public speaking. And I actually do a really good job at public speaking. All I have to do is remind myself if I'm going to be an advocate, I have to speak up. And I would like to tell you, if you really want to hear a person with a Speech impairment is one thing you need to do. You know what that is? I need you to listen. Listen with open ear and be attentive. I bet you will understand what I'm saying. If you not, I'll repeat myself, because I know that look people give me, the look at What did you say? And I don't mind repeating myself, because I really want you to understand me. And I really want you to know what I say. So remember, try not to stereotype nobody. And remember, people with disabilities can do public speaking and a lot more other things. Thank you. See you later. Bye. My name is Renee Wood. I'm with Advocacy United. I'm the secretary and treasurer of that group. I'm also the past chair of the Ohio Development Disability Council, and I'm on the Armstead Task Force. I'm here to talk today about marriage. Um, in the, in the disability community, we still don't have the right to get married, technically. Because when we get married, they take away our benefits. They cut them. Um, 
people can't live without SSI or Medicaid, especially if you're on the waiver. Um, the government is saying that if we get married, our spouse is partially responsible for our care. That is back in the 1800s. People don't want to be underneath the spouse. They want to be independent. They want to contribute to the marriage, not be a dependent in the marriage. Um, so I think we need to fight for marriage rights for people with disabilities so they can keep their SSI and their um, Medicaid waiver. I'd also like to talk about another subject, freedom. In society today, people, especially people with developmental disabilities, I'm not free. We're always under somebody. Somebody's always um, learning over us or telling us what would be the best for us, uh, when we should do this, when we should eat, when we should go to bed. And on top of that, even in society, we're not really free to get employment or, you know, go out with transportation the way it is. So I just like to see more things accomplished to help us to be we are people. Thank you.